I'm going to show you the Azurio BL54L15 Micro uh, module, which is a really tiny module based on the NRF54L uh, wafer scale package. You can see it on this uh, development board I've got here, or um, here it is, sort of close up. So it's a really tiny package that includes the chip antenna. So I'm going to show you this module working with Bleacon so it can actually become a cloud connected module. Um, so to do that, let's start by having a look at our developer site. So this is the developer site for um, that module and the DK that it's based on. You could go and um, develop using Zephyr itself. Um, all the files are up on GitHub. But we're going to uh, start by using just the pre-built example files. So I've already downloaded them to my computer. So if I go over to uh, NRF Connect application, I'm running it on Mac here. Uh, I'm just going to open the programmer and we can add the file, which is this one here. So that's the development board demo file. And if we select the device as well, so it's connected to our J-Link, so that's over here, we can now um, erase and uh, write that. And if we switch back here, you'll see this is now running that application. Okay, so to use this application, it's actually exposing over the J-Link, um, the Zephyr uh, console. So we can go and interact with this uh, device over the console. So if I just go back to here and let's uh, choose the, where is it? The serial terminal. I'm just gonna set the terminal uh, mode to um, shell because we're um, talking to the uh, Zephyr shell and let's connect the J-Link and here we go. Right, so if I hopefully, I do that here we go so this demo has got a few uh, commands that we can run just to interact with the modem that's running on that uh, module so to start with we could uh, let's um, get the device ID okay so there the device has returned us the unique ID that's on that device so every device when it's created with uh, bleacon gets a unique uh, globally unique ID and the cryptographic material that goes with that. So the public private key um, so that it can be securely identified um, in the future, provide encryption over the channel and things like that. So you know when you're talking to this device, you really know it's this device you're talking to and you know the data can't be uh, modified. So what else? Let's, uh, let's, whoops, sorry. let's do uh, ping. So that's starting a ping. There we go. So it's done a, a ping. So what's, what's happened there? Well, this Bluetooth... Um, device has now um, requested connection from the Bleacon network. Um, one of the hotspots, which could have made my computer or my phone that I've got next to me or some, some other piece of infrastructure that supports Bleacon has responded and allowed the device to uh, open a connection to the cloud uh, and done a ping and returned. So that's fairly interesting. So now what I'll do is perhaps um, register this device with um, a network so that we can talk to our own applications, not just a ping. Um, so let's do that. So if we go here, I've opened um, the Bleacon console, which is where you manage uh, your Bleacon networks from. And you can see here, I've got a network called Azure Test Network. And currently it's got no devices connected to it, no events, because it's basically just a blank network I just created um, a few minutes ago. So what we're going to do is we're going to register that device with the network. I'm going to actually use my phone to uh, register that device. So to do that, I'm going to uh, launch the scanner on my phone. In this case, I'm just doing it. I know I'm, I want to transfer over to here. So now, now this is uh, scanning for devices. And if I go over to my uh, control panel, there's, there's various different ways to do this. But if I do bleak and announce, that's going to, there we go. So now that's gone through and said, oh, I want to register this device. So there's various different registration flows that we support. So I've just clicked register on that. Um, and now in theory, that device should be registered with our network. Um, so let's go and have a look. So if we go here and we look at the events on uh, this uh, console, here we go ignoring that it's uh, perhaps blocked by my head. This device, you can see it was registered at a certain point. If I click through there, you know, here's the device. It's on this test network, um, hasn't used much data. You can already see where it is in the world. So this is actually the office I'm in 
at the moment up in the science park in uh, Cambridge. Um, and okay, yeah, the device is registered. So um, we've already now got this Bluetooth uh, module um, talking to our cloud network. And then if we go back to, let's say, the console again, let's uh, we're going to make a request. So like an HTTP request, you'd imagine, but it, I'm going to just send some binary, well, hexadecimal um, data here. So we're going to do a request. And you can see that device is now connected to a network using one of the nearby hotspots um, and made a request and had a response. So let's go back to our cloud console and just refresh this. And yeah, here we go. So you can see here that um, it was actually invoked a the echo server because I was just sending some random data. So already we have um, a Bluetooth uh, device connecting via Bleacon to a cloud backend. And of course the, the fun things start when I go back to my network and I start adding integrations. So a webhook obviously is a standard way to integrate into the services, but that might be to um, add AWS backend. So the data or the communication is landing in my AWS um, services or even connecting it to something like Memfault. So um, Memfault's actually built into this device as well. So if I connect Memfault, I can start getting observability and um, do things like OTA uh, to that Bluetooth device. So all that information is available on the developer um, uh, page, including how to integrate Bleacon into your own Zephyr projects. Um, if you have any questions, don't, uh, don't hesitate to book a meeting with us and we can chat through your requirements.